Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. As you know that we are discussing very important module of linguistics that is phonetics. And in phonetics, in this video, we are going to deal with the articulators, the phonetics of articulators, the articulatory phonetics. As you know that when we cut the phonetics into different branches, we have claimed that there is one branch of phonetics that deal with the articulator what the part of mouse what is the part of human organ that moves when the air compressed when the air processed while producing the sound and in this video i am going to talk about that what are the articulators and see we have the articulators and what are the articulators articulators are basically the organs that involve by producing the sounds. The question is that what are the organs that involves while producing the sound? As we have claimed in the previous video that the one process is called the phonation process. After that we have the articulatory process and if we want to discuss the articulatory process we must know that what are the articulators and see our articulators are of two types one is the active articulators second is the passive articulators the active articulator the most active articulators are tongue lower lips they are the most active articulator what are the active articulators? Active articulators are that organ of human human being that move from one place to another place to generate the sound and they touch the passive articulator. In this way, the active articulator and the passive articulator come close to each other and in this way we have some particular sound in any language. And this is the process that is called the articulatory process. The second is the passive articulator. And what are the passive articulator? Passive articulator are those that don't move on that particular place. Suppose you have the hoof of your mouse that is called the palate. See the palate. When you speak your palate you can move. And when you speak your tongue is moving actively and in this way we can say that the organ of human body that moves while producing the sound is called the active articulators and the organs of human being that cannot move while producing the sound is called the passive articulator. When you speak and even when I am speaking the roof of my mouth is constant at its specific place it is not moving what is moving my tongue is moving my lips are moving and the articulator that don't move they are called the passive articulator and the, what are the passive articulator the passive articulators are the upper lips your upper lips is the passive articulator second your upper teeth, your upper teeth is the passive articulators. The roof of the mouth that I have told you that the palatal. This is called the passive articulator and it has three parts. The front of the palatal, the middle and the back. When your lips touch the front of the palate, it is the different sound. When you turn, touch it, or come close to the middle of the palate, it is some different sound. And even if your tongue will move and touch it the back of the palate, it will be totally the different sound. So we can say that the passive articulator don't move, the active articulator move. When everybody wants to speak, he or she has two types of articulator. One is the passive articulator, the other is the active articulator. Active articulator moves 
while in the passive participle don't move and see we have the soft palates number 1 articulator we have the soft palate soft palate has the three parts has the three parts one is the front of the palate it is under the the back of, under the under your front teeth and this is the middle of the your tongue this is the middle of the palate and this is the back of the back of the palate and this is the parallel to your lower position of your tongue and these are the three parts of the soft palate soft palate the next is the tongue the tongue has four parts one is the tip second is the blade third is the front and the last one and fourth one is the back of the tongue when the particular part of the lips will move and come to the passive articulator the sound in this way that has been produced it totally a different sound the last one is the lips we have the lips the position of lips are the two types one is the your lips close and produce a sound your lips may be closed and produce a sound your lips may be open open when we say b bat your lips compress the air and suddenly open when you say oo your lips are open oo the air come from your lips without any obstruction and these are the articulators and i have told you that there are three types of two types of articulator one is the active articulator the other is the passive articulator and the articulators are the soft palate the tongue the lips we have the two lips we have the part of tongue and we have the soft part of the soft palate and if you want to know more about language and linguistics please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates